Representative sections from each region of the spinal cord, sacral, lumbar, thoracic, and cervical, can be seen here. In each, the area of white matter between the dorsal horns, the dorsal columns, is emphasized in color. Cell bodies of sensory neurons from either proprioceptors or exteroreceptors reside in the dorsal root ganglion. Sensory neurons from the lower extremities enter the spinal cord and ascend in the dorsal columns in a bundle known as fasciculus gracilis. Collateral branches of these sensory axons enter the dorsal horns, where they synapse with interneurons that mediate reflex activity, such as the stretch reflex. Sensory neuron axons at lumbar levels behave in an identical manner, giving off collaterals and ascending in the fasciculus gracilis. Axons from the trunk enter thoracic spinal cord segments and ascend in the dorsal columns laterally to axons from the sacral and lumbar segments. Sensory neurons that innervate the upper extremities and neck enter the cord at the cervical levels. Along with neurons carrying information from the upper trunk, these axons form the most lateral section of the dorsal columns, the fasciculus cuneatus. As the fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus pass through the spinal cord medulla junction, keep in mind that within the DCML tract, axons are grouped both by their function and the area of the body from which they originate. Just rostral to the motor decussation is the sensory decussation, where the fibers of fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus synapse with second-order neurons. The axons of neurons in nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus then pass ventrally in the tegmentum of the medulla and cross the midline. These decussating axons are known as the internal arcuate fibers and form the medial lemniscus tract. The somatotopy from the spinal cord shifts from a medial lateral pattern to a ventral dorsal pattern, with the previously medial sacral axons becoming the most ventral. From this point on, only two axons will be illustrated in each medial lemniscus. One represents the axons of all the second order neurons in nucleus gracilis, and the other, the axons from all the second order neurons in nucleus cuneatus. As the medial lemniscus ascends, its orientation and position change. Previously, dorsal fibers become medial and the pattern of somatotopy changes so that it is opposite to the pattern in the spinal cord. As the caudal midbrain is reached, the horizontally oriented medial lemniscus changes its orientation yet again. The fibers of the medial lemniscus pass through the rostral midbrain and immediately enter the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the dorsal thalamus. There, they synapse with third-order neurons. The axons of the third-order neurons in the NVPL travel through a white matter area of the forebrain called the internal capsule and terminate in the primary somatosensory cortex of the postcentral gyrus. Somatotopy for discriminatory tactile information and conscious proprioception is maintained in the primary somatosensory cortex.